Hello and welcome back to some more Kerbal Space Program. I'm going to be starting a new series of this game since we are now in version 0 0.22 and we have a career mode. I am your host, the Green Dragon, and let's get into the game, shall we? So, career and... yeah. Let's pick the really weird flag, sure, why not, and let's get into it. We're going to be doing science and researching new technologies, and our goal is to eventually go to all of Jules' moons, as well as Ilu and Moho, and uh, bring some experiments back from there, at least with probes, if not with actual people. So, this is the research and development thing. All we have for a start is these basic things plus the Kerbal Engineer because I do need my numbers, I really do. Now the first basic parts would cost 5 science, so before we can do anything even remotely worthwhile, before we even get the basic decouplers, we need to do one short flight. So, well, yeah, I'm gonna be showing you the whole thing, not just the flights in this, except maybe when there's some really difficult design process later on where, you know, it takes me a while to design the ship I want. So let's just get together a couple of... I think just two. We don't want to go too high. Not on this. Right. So, yeah. Let's just build a really simple rocket, add a really simple antenna right there on the tip. The rocket engine itself will generate the electricity for our antenna, and those things do take a lot of electricity. I mean, power is suddenly very important. And you don't get the ability to generate power until later. So, in any case, let's just launch. There's no reason to save this, because this is a worthless piece of trash, actually. All right, we are out here. Let us... Okay, crew report. Let us transmit a report from the launch pad. And then let us launch. Turn slightly sideways and just fly over the beaches. Yes, the shores look inviting, blah blah blah, and... Yeah, you can see the electricity going down as it transmits. Yep, more of the same. Yeah, we're just gonna do a short burn and then we're gonna be purely ballistic. In... well, now. Uh, okay, EVA report. <laughs> Uh, come back! Come back! Shit! I thought he would manage to hold on. Uh, whoops! Down! Down! Catch up to it! Catch up to it! <laughs> oh, crap! Yes! Oh, there's not enough time, there's not enough time! Ford, Ford! Come on, come on, come on! You can do this! There's no way he can do this. You can do this, come on! So close! Ah! <laughs> okay, let's actually try it again. I'm not ready to lose Jeb just yet. <laughs> So, do I need to transmit these again? Indeed I do. Okay, good. See, the antenna extends, transmits, and then pulls back in. Yeah, so no EVA, just a short flight. Where we... Well, this is about getting access to some basic parts so we can attempt to get into orbit. More or less. Or do a suborbital flight in any case. So... Yep, transmit that, and until somewhat later in the game, we're gonna have to run our engines in order to generate power, so that's gonna be a thing. Okay, can record another proper report here. 
and we'll keep a rep duplicate one there just so that we can uh, recover it with the craft we won't have enough oomph to actually transmit it because well we don't have enough power okay looking good deploying shoots okay and you get extra signs just from recovering vessels that have been places not from recovering vessels from the launch pad I think but you know vessels that have actually flown somewhere it's like a couple points of signs for something that just got off the ground and like 20 or 30 for something that's been to the moon and I haven't been further than Minmus in testing this out and I wanted to start this series well soon just to get it out there and then we can you know sort of figure it out together rather than you know it's just you know trying to get a bit of familiarity with the science situ situation and I think I have that so we're gonna be actually playing now and sploosh we're down moving over the surface crap I'm not moving oh come on let me oh I'm throttled up okay but there we are we are back in the space center now now we can recover this and get some base more science here Recovery of vessel that survived the flight. Five and crew report while flying over Kerbin's water. Well, there we are. We have 14 total signs, which means that we can, in fact, afford a basic uh, science advancement. Which means we get the most basic rocketry, some new fuel tanks, a mystery goo containment unit, which allows you to get more science, and a stack decoupler. There we go. And can we get the next one? No, that takes 18. The next one we would want to go with is probably stability for the radial decouplers because those are useful as well and then the landing stuff and then we can actually attempt a moon flight although general rocketry would be good as well well all three of these put together would certainly allow us to get to the moon but our next target is orbit now so let us attempt to make something a bit more than like a real rocket and we will be using the engineer parts for this bit right still don't have uh... right 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 we could add uh, the go containment units onto the main command part because they are light enough to allow that those are experiments that only give you like 20 or 40 percent of the actual uh, research value if you try to transmit them you have to actually recover them that gives us 2000 meters per s meters per second of acceleration this gives us 3000 okay with a thrust weight of 3 which is more than we really need there okay this gives us almost enough to get into orbit we just need a little bit more so that being the case we can do something like this which won't work on its own admittedly and actually I'm gonna shorten the top part by one okay that's looking good and then we can do something like this to and then we have a set of four engines down there all of which will be well going at the same time and then we just decouple the whole assembly and we should have enough for an orbital flight Although, as far as going to the moon, actually getting struts would be good for that too. Okay, crew report. 
worthless on the launch pad. Okay, so okay, let us go. It will drift off course somewhat while the bottom set of stacks is going because we only have the pod as a control mechanism and it is not quite enough to keep the whole thing stable, not perfectly anyway. So I'm doing a bit of manual adjustment and we're gonna throttle down to about two thirds here because of the immense amounts of thrust the weight we, you know, thrust we have relative to our weight. Okay, this is looking good. I want this to take us up to 10, 13,000. At that point, we'll want to start getting, thinking about getting rid of it. In fact, I'm actually going to start slowly tipping over towards our, you know, path towards orbit. Goal is get these into space. Uh, observe what happens to the goo in space. And then bring it back down really as simple as that. Okay, so transmit. Want to turn over further. There we go, there we go, there we go. Alrighty. Engines are looking good. Numbers are looking good. We need to tip over further though. Okay. No, 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 no. Not too far. 20 degrees will do us fine right now. And I need to thrust faster now. Okay, now burn for orbit. Passing 28 kilometers, looking good. Another crew report, which we will transmit. There we go, bit more science. Good, 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 good. Okay, cut the engine for a second. Let's take a look at our apoapsis. Yep, we want to burn horizontally now, fuel-wise. Looking actually pretty good. Okay. Depending on our delta V, we might actually be able to do a flyby of the moon if we are a bit lucky. We'll see. Don't count on it, but we might be able to pull that off. In which case, we'll get some really good signs from this thing. Now just drift out of the atmosphere and let's see what happens up there. Uh, vessel 1741 meters per second and apparently we're in space because the music just started up won't take too much to get into orbit and we'll just do a flyby of the moon we won't have to actually establish a stable orbit so we can theoretically do that I think okay, before we do that um, Yeah, just so that uh, we can use this burn to recover some of our electricity. Cut off. Good. We are in orbit. Good, good, good. Good so far. So, 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 what do we want to do next? Vessel 1300. Yeah, we're going to do a moon flyby. Crew report. Discard. Don't need that. Okay, setting the moon as a target and... Okay, I think this is the angle we want right here. Good, 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 good. Okay. Okay, we want something that gives us an eventual... a pretty low eventual curb in periapsis while... Okay, so this is essentially a perfect flyby since. Uh, okay, moon perhaps is. Yeah, okay, so this is pretty much perfect because we will swing by the moon and come back into Kerbin's atmosphere and we'll still have a couple hundred meters of delta V left over, which is perfect. No, no, no. Let's just point you in the right direction. Okay. There we go. Well, we're going to do another long burn, so we might as well do another crew report. 
transmit that, deploy antenna and transmit. Good, good, good. And now we just wait for our burn time, I suppose. Yes, and a couple hundred meters per second of delta V left over for reserve, which is pretty fracking perfect, actually. Okay, 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 looking good. It's a 17 second burn, so 10 seconds before node, we start throttling up. Okay, okay, right about now, and we need to adjust our heading. Okay, accelerate. There we go. Should go relatively quickly because lots of trust to wait, obviously. We need to spend a smidge of time adjusting, and why is all of that wrong suddenly? Okay. No, we need to go the opposite direction. Okay. Uh, let's just adjust this downwards. Okay, those are being weird now. Eventual curb in... Okay, that is... Uh, perfect, in fact. So, fly by with the moon. Looking good. Looking very good. Looking very good, in fact. So, we can do another crew report and then recover one along with the capsule from... You know, from the actual landing. Let's see about doing that, and then after that we can try to actually build a moon landing capable ship. There we are. Flyby. So, goo containers. Observe mystery goo. Right. They're good, they're good, they're good. And a crew report. There we go. That's our science right there. Eh, turn that off. So, right now we'll get a curb and parapsis of 30 kilometers, which is freaking excellent, because that's... Well, I essentially set up a free return trajectory where if we don't enter the moon's, atmos uh, moon's orbit, we just return to orbit and re-enter, which is uh, pretty awesome. Alrighty. Almost there. And we're in the atmosphere. So at this point, we can safely ditch our stuff, or, you know, our engine. Goodbye. And we can watch the re-entry effect and hope that our pilot and our science comes back safely. We should see flames any second now. Flames, 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 there we go, flames. And crap, we're coming down all land. Don't like that much. Using small amounts of electricity. Ah, shit, I should have done an EVA and done a re EVA report. Ah, crap. Oh, well, we'll do one sometime later. Take surface sample from the moon and bring that back. That should be cool. Alrighty, things are chilling out. Speed is going down nicely. We had a nice shallow re-entry, not too much flaming. And we are essentially good. And the burn off a smidge more speed. And then we can deploy the parachute and just drift on down. I think that's enough speed. Parachute deployed. Turn that off. Just let it point retrograde naturally and we should be quite good, in fact. And it does appear that we are. You have to be careful with these high time orbs. They can rip your shoot off. 
believe it or not. And that would be a bad thing, especially after we have gone and gotten all that science. I'd rather not waste it, if you know what I mean. Because, you know, science means better parts, means we can get further and do awesomer stuff. Which is nice. You know, because it's, well, science. Please don't break. Okay, we are good now to drift down the rest of the way. Watching those dials, making sure we're going down nicely. And at this point we kill the time warp. And go outside to watch us gently drift down to the ground. And damn, that's some weird shadows. Space Center. Now to recover this baby. So, tracking station. Title craft, recover. So, crew report was in space high over the moon. Mystery go high over the moon. Yeah, see, this data value goes way down. So, you know, two goo containers probably might have been better to observe it in two different places, but... Oh well. This does mean, however, that we can research all three of these. Okay, and we are a tiny bit short for the struts as well. Okay. I don't think I really need struts for moon landing, though. So, I guess we'll see, won't we? No fuel lines, though. Don't get any fuel lines, because we suck too much to deserve fuel lines. whoop the freaking do So, guess we can try this. So, we'll need a more powerful drive here. Two stack, maybe? That brings us to 4000 at the top two stages. That should be enough if we can get all of this into orbit. Which might not be that easy, admittedly. And we would have to build a whole mountain of rocket fuel to do it, and it might explode on us. However, I'm willing to take the chance of it exploding. Strangely enough. Just seems like the thing to do for some reason. Yeah, let's see if we can do something really crazy. Okay, so three stack is good enough, I think. That's two right there. It's three thousand. What if I added a set of these? Okay, it might not be a thing getting to the moon at this stage. I might need struts and some more stuff. Okay, so this will take us more or less into orbit. Extra set of tanks, then. In fact, actually, yes, we can do this. Just have to do it the right way. It might wobble a bit. But, uh... Okay, that gives us... Three and a half. Yeah, we'll go like this. Four stack should be enough. And then some of these solid boosters that gives us a total of uh, 4700 meters per second of delta V, which should be just enough to get us into orbit. And then we will be able to go to the moon with the rest. So. Right, we have our antenna, we have our engineer. What else might we need? There's not much else we can have, though. Extra shoot, maybe? There's not much point, is there? Okay. I th think we're gonna try this. 
fingers crossed. If this does not explode in our faces, we will manage it just fine. Hopefully. Okay. So. Okay, let's report that the structure looks relatively stable so far. Okay, you ignite when that is burnt out. Oh, scary flexing. Okay, that is a bit scary and really, really loud in my headphones. So, okay, let's throttle down a bit. Looking good, looking good. Spinning a bit, but that should not be a huge problem. Yeah, don't want too much thrust being... Damn, those wobble a lot. Okay, so, 60 degrees it is. Let us attempt to climb into an orbit then. I think we're past the really dangerous bit. This should work now. Hopefully. Should being the operative term. Of course, toggle vessel, delta V stages. Okay, thrust to weight is less than I would like, but it should be good enough. Okay, let's do 30 degrees now. Should be fine. Keep that open as well. Where we at? Okay, that is looking okay-ish. We want to dump this stage just before we make stable orbit, just to keep the amount of trash in orbit nice and low, if we can. Alrighty, 60 kilometer apoapse. Okay, numbers are looking real good, actually. This is looking really, really good. Okay. Orbital data. So, perhaps this is there. How much fuel left over in this? Very little. Okay, chunk it is then. Smidge of thrust just to push us away from it, and look at them go. Okay, booster separation is looking good. Now we'll just drift our apps and uh, make an orbit and prepare us an intercept trajectory with the moon. Should be relatively easy now. Unless we fuck it up, in which case we're gonna die horribly in a fire. But, you know. Okay, so, we'll observe the goo once, keep this, and we'll do another observation on the moon. Okay. We can use this for that. Okay, we have a periaps, and... Uh, perfect. That will do nicely. So... Let us set up an intercept maneuver next. We want a low pass. A low, low pass. Like a really low pass. No dicking around with free return trajectories. Not that low. 50 sounds about right. Okay, so... Vessel. This stage still has... So this should be enough to not only get us there, but to start our landing maneuver. 
which is good. So let's turn that way. No RCS either. You need to research that, which is awesome. Because, you know, this adds more of a challenge to the game. It was getting a bit easy before, and it was kind of like, eh, since what's there left to do? Other than to try to do the EVE mission, but, eh. You know. But now, well, now things are a bit more different, and kind of reminds me of the old days when the game didn't have as many parts and as much instrumentation. Okay, so we need to actually do our burn now. So let's do that. So, 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 burning, burning, burning. Shouldn't take too long. Yep, looking really good, in fact. Now just turn. There. Right there. Okay. Okay, cut the engines and smidge at the time adjustments. Kill the node. Perfect. Exactly where we want it to be. Now let us continue. Oh, I want to have struts so badly. They are so useful. We should have a few. Just for fun. Okay, let's see. We're going to be passing over the dark side, right? Which means we shan't be doing a landing. Directly we'll be making an orbit first. To that end, retrograde burn down to... 30? 20. Down to 20. Don't worry, I'm gonna turn around in time. There's no rush. We still have a couple of minutes, okay? Now we turn around. Still have plenty of fuel. Looking very nice, in fact. Still have 800 meters per second in this. So, we'll have some 500 left over f to start the actual landing. All in all... Okay, a bit premature maybe, but I think we'll be good. A couple of seconds isn't gonna cause too much trouble here. Okay, so 20,000 and very little change, but that will do me just fine. Half tank on that one. Perfect. Just perfect. Okay, so... These tiny engines, they don't produce any electric charge, so you have to be careful with that. But we can transmit one report from, well, in orbit around the moon. So, we're gonna do just that. And we do do just that. Okay, lowest point will be all that crater. Very, very, very nice. Nope, not worth it. Switch the camera mode. Good. So up ahead we're gonna see our landing spot very shortly. Okay. Oh, apparently not. Well, this crater then. Okay, here we go. Should be okay-ish. It's really cratery after some of the latest updates. But that should it looks like a series of uh, pretty flat spots under us there. So, so crew report? No. Okay, let's do our deorbiting burn then. Should have enough electricity once we're on the ground to transmit one more crew report and take another one with us. Yeah. Okay, that should be relatively fine. I'm gonna time warp for a bit. Okay, looking good. And now I think we want to burn off the last of our fuel for this stage. 
done and pachunk and now we only have our lander excellent okay observe mystery goo okay keep this data and reset this because we'll want to do another one on the surface okay coming in nice and hot probably want to do something about that actually so let us use our engine and toggle that so that we don't use up the electricity we have on that too quickly and we can use our engine gimbal to stir steer our craft while the engine is on. Uh, don't like it. Let's drift that away a bit because that area does not look as flat as I would like. Point ourselves at 45, that should be fine. Actually, a little more horizontally will do and start braking again how high are we? not that high okay straight down it is I suppose okay passing 3000 meters of real altitude deploy landing legs so that we don't forget later and now we well, do the actual landing. Should be relatively easy. Shouldn't have any problems with this. Theoretically. Okay, throttle down, drift down at a constant speed. Passing 700 or something like that. Okay, 500 good 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 throttle up a bit start burning off some of that speed again looking good oh come on please tell me I'm not landing on a freaking hill again had this before when I was testing out the new update it was annoying as hell landing like this also, I was out of electric charge, so that might not have helped. Okay, we will attempt the landing once. If it doesn't work, we will blast off and do one more attempt further down the line. I, it looks like it's flat enough in this particular spot, so we should be fine, though. No, 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 not too rough. No, the other way, the other way. Whew! Okay, that was close. I mean, that was... Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay. EVA. EVA report. Yeah. I don't think we can afford to transmit proper EVA date. And I forgot to do that again. So, surface sample. Ooh! That's a lot of signs. EVA report, good. And let's plant our psychedelic flag, shall we? There we go. First moon landing in this new campaign. Grab. No. Damn it, Jeb. Don't you dare knock that over, you bastard. We need that. We need that to get back home. No, 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 no. That was a mistake. I accidentally let go. Crap. Get in there. Get in there. Grab. Board. Okay. Okay. Turn that off. We're not going to be needing that anymore. Our, we're actually in a pretty good position. So, throttle up, lift off, and go. Oh, no, 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 not down, 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 not down, not down. 
Okay, this away, this away, this away. Okay, we are adjusted on the horizon more or less then. 10 degree up angle should be sufficient to prevent us from smacking into anything too big. Fuel is looking freaking excellent and all in all... Oh, I forgot about the fracking goo, didn't I? Oh well. Oh well. Should still be good though. We can always come back and visit another crater. It's always the possibility of taking more surface samples. Yay, surface samples. Awesome. Actually gonna wait until we are in high Kerbin orbit and then we're gonna slow our asses down and set up a re-entry there. Good. We have more than enough fuel to do this a little bit inefficiently, so that should not be a problem. Okay then. Alrighty. Seems about right. Once we enter the outer reaches of the atmosphere, I'm gonna dump the actual lander stage, and once again we shall continue on you know, with just our command pod, I just want to make sure before I dump my final engine that there aren't any unexpected surprises. Okay, there aren't. Then retrograde and chunk. Bye bye! We had fun. But now it's time to part. Bye. Yeah, coming in on the dark side of the planet, which is, uh,. Well, a thing, obviously. And flames! Oh, quick. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Close. Kill that, let you drift retrograde. Should be perfectly fine. Hopefully, we won't run into any problems. Hopefully. Would really suck to. Explode after that mission. You know, right on the return too, that would be bad, 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 bad in so many different ways. Deploy that. Looking good, looking good. Okay. So. Parachute deployed safely. And now we have to drift the rest of the way down, and we are good. Alright, so, gotten ourselves a bit of science, and then we can do some shopping. Okay, so let's recover that and see just how much science we now have. So, there we go, recover, and 225 EVA report, surface sample, mystery goo, right, those were both in space near the moon, because I didn't do one on the surface, oh well, in any case, research and development then. Okay, science tech, because batteries are important, because you can see we're having trouble with power. Some stuff there, which is nice. I do want this, definitely. That, not so much. We can live without that. And I'm thinking fuel system, so we have fuel lines and uh, electric, so that we have solar panels. Okay, but I am gonna leave it at this for now. I might record some more t today, but uh, for now, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later.